I'm Inês and I'm an Application Engineering Team Leader at Materialize. In this video, I will show you how to analyze the centerline of the aorta. In this video, we're going to review the centerline tool in version 21 of the Mimics Innovation Suite. This tool allows you to calculate the center point along a tubular structure, take measurements of the anatomy and then export these measurements as a text file. Typically, this tool is used for cardiovascular and pulmonary applications, but it can also be used for any anatomy with tubular morphology. We'll be using an aorta model as an example. This model is generated by first segmenting out the blood volume within the artery. If you used a hollow model depicting just the vessel walls of the aorta, the software would try to calculate the center line inside of the walls instead of the vessel, so it's important to work with a solid part. To start, go to the Analyze tab and select the Fit Centerline tool. There are a few parameters you can adjust for this tool. The first is the Smooth factor, which controls the level of smoothing performance. Smoothing will stop when one point in the centerline branch deviates from its original position by a distance greater than the Smooth factor times the average branch radius. If that's confusing, just remember that a higher smooth factor results in a smoother centerline. Most of the time, you'll keep it around 0.5. In extreme cases, where there are very short turns in the geometry, you may want to choose a lower smooth factor. There are also two advanced parameters that you can adjust by hitting the Show Parameters button. Resolving resolution indicates the size of the tubular structure that can be recognized by the algorithm. So a smaller resolution results in a smaller diameter of the structure. By default, this parameter is automatically set to two times the pixel spacing of your images. You'll find that works just fine most of the time and can be left unchanged. Distance between control points sets the distance between two adjacent control points, between which the center line will be interpolated. Again, this is set automatically, but you can manually change it to a fixed distance if desired. Once the parameters are set, click Fint Centerline. It will calculate and you can close the tool. Now, if you go under your Analysis Objects tab, you'll see the centerline listed, and to visualize it, you can toggle the transparency of the Trini model. You can also perform some advanced operations, which you can see by right-clicking on the centerline. For example, you can edit the centerline just by clicking on one of the points of the line and dragging it into a new location. But most of the time, you'll just want to keep them in their optimal position. There are also some centerline post-processing features. If the centerline didn't come out quite smooth enough, you can adjust the smooth factor or filter out shorter branches. We're going to show you that. In our example here, it looks like the software calculated some of the branches for the arch vessels and you can see that two of them must have been smaller than the distance that was set. If you want to add any missing branches back in, you can click Add Branch to Centerline and then just click on the end point of that branch. It will recalculate that centerline part for you. You can also grow a segment of the centerline if it didn't go all the way through the vessel. Just click on that segment and then pick a point for it to grow to. It's clear that there are a lot of advanced tools that you can use to refine the calculated centerline. If you want to do a measurement on the centerline, go to the Measure tab and there you'll find some tools for different measurements that you can make. We're going to try out the best feed diameter measurement. Take your mouse and click on any point throughout the centerline and the measurement will appear in your measurements tab up there. We can also measure other things, like the sectional area. Or the tortuosity. This works by simply clicking a starting and ending point and it will measure the tortuosity between those two points. If you're ever unsure how to calculate a measurement, you can look it up in the manual in the Help tab. Now let's say we want to take a measurement of one of these center lines throughout an entire branch. There's a much faster way to do this than working with individual points. First, click on your center line and then on the Properties tab. Choose which branch you want to measure and it will get highlighted in the 3D view. We're going to choose the main branch. Now click Export and choose the measurements you're interested in. Choose your output directory. 
file name and hit save. This will export out a text file listing the selected measurements at each of the control points in that branch. If we open up the text file, this is what it looks like. You can see there is a legend at the top to help you decipher that document. It's showing the coordinates, the tangent vector, the normal vector and the binormal vector of each of the control points and finally the desired measurements.